welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a how to groom your bunny video. The first thing you're going to want to do is lay down a familiar blanket or towel so that your bunnies feel a lot more comfortable and aren't slipping and sliding all around the table. I would recommend doing this on a higher desk or table so that your bunnies don't try to jump down and try to do it with a space they're not familiar with. Next, you're going to want the hair buster comb. You can use any sort of comb. This is just my favorite one and I would definitely recommend it. Um, Lennon the Bunny has a great video on how to make a DIY one and I will leave a link in the description on where I got mine. Then you're going to want a lint roller. This is not going to hurt your bunny. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. So it will just give your bunnies a lot more polished look and take all of the stray hairs and just kind of take them off. Then you're gonna want some sort of treat. I had some trouble fitting this in the frame, but it's just Round Lake Farm Timothy heads and they're super great. Uh, um, you don't have to use Timothy heads. You can use whatever kind of treat that you would like. I just personally prefer to use Timothy heads because my bunnies don't eat Timothy hay and they think of it as a treat, uh, even though it might not be to most bunnies if your bunnies eat Timothy hay. Right when you, your bunny gets up there, you're going to want to start loving on them and so that they know I'm up here, I get loves. Because you don't want them to think that they're just gonna be brought out of their cage to be groomed, especially if you don't really hold your bunny that much. You don't want them to think that you only take them out of their cage to get groomed and to be set on a table. Most bunnies like it, but some of them don't. I like to give them a treat right away as well. They're like, oh yay, food, and it, Keeps them a little less concentrated on the fact that they're standing on a high table. You're going to start by going in a little bit of a scooping motion. So you're going to start by going down and then kind of scoop once you feel the brush gets stuck. If it gets too stuck, pull it back and then try again. Um, this just means that there's a lot of fur right there. It needs to be pulled out or maybe there's a little tangle. Just work on the areas. I know I look like I'm being rough, but as long as your bunny isn't trying to get away from you, you're not being too rough. That doesn't mean go as rough until your bunny tries to get away from you. And then, yeah, that's great. I just gave her another little piece of treat. Um, but you're just going to continuously stroke your bunny, going down and then scooping at the butt. As you can see, I keep getting stuck, and that's just because... It is molting. Um, they're molting right now. Right now. Right now. So, like, I am trying my hardest to not rip out their fur, but there's so much hair. After I recorded this video, I actually did band it. And he, I had to, like, vacuum the air after, even though we have an air filter, because of how much hair there was and there was a lot more hair than Bama. So now I'm gonna do the other side. Don't flip your bunny around if you're not trying to like film a video or anything. I just wanted you guys to be able to see. I'm gonna use the other side. Same scooping motion. Be careful not to dig. Do you see how I did that right there? I kind of pointed it a little bit more toward her and she turned around. That's because she didn't feel comfortable with it. And she's like, where's mommy? I don't want this happening. So um, if your bunny starts turning around, even though you're doing the brushing as directed, I would recommend giving them a treat because this will keep them facing the other direction. Some bunnies, you need to do their brushing with two people and one person kind of has to hold them down like I'm doing now, except with a little bit more like both hands and stuff. I never put actual pressure on your bunny. You just want a firm hand. There is difference. There is a large difference between having pressure and like being 
um, being harsh and like holding down your bunny than being firm and having like a little bit of pressure. So it's like you just have your hands stiff and it's on top of them, but at the same time, it's relaxed. I don't know if that makes sense, but like don't go in there and just dump them like that. Like that's gonna hurt them. Also, make sure to get down like on their chest with, especially with females, I noticed there's always been a lot of hair down there. Um, I try not to groom there too much because there's a lot of hair down there. And I'm not saying I don't groom there. I groom there until, but I, my, um, me and my mom are brushing Bama one time and uh, brushed her right there. And we noticed a lot of fur was coming out. So we kept brushing and then it created a small bald spot. It wasn't that big of a deal, but it still created a bald spot. Then you're gonna wanna hold up your bunny to get their belly, obviously. Uh, this Bama was not too happy about, as you can see. I was trying my very, very hardest to hold her and comfort her and get her belly, but she just wasn't really liking it. This is the part where you're probably gonna want two people. I ended up, in the end, just basically kinda lifting her not like that, I was just moving her, but I like barely lift her front up and then started to brush underneath her like this. Um, this she was okay with, she still wasn't very happy. Um, be careful not to go too low when you're brushing them, obviously, uh, down there. But um, yeah, so I have now fully brushed her whole body now it's time to lint roll. So I'm just gonna take off the outer layer. Um, I was actually using the outer layer to lint roll my um, clothes earlier because uh, they're like always covered in bunny fur. So you're gonna go in the opposite direction that their hair grows and just scoop, basically just go up and this should catch any extra pieces of fur. Now I forgot to do this in the beginning. I ended up doing it after, but before you lint roll, you should kind of pluck. Now I'll show you what I mean in a minute. That does not mean get in there really with your hands and like pull up, like pull out all the hair and plucking like you're plucking your eyebrows. That's not what it means. Don't ever use tweezers on your bunnies unless it's just for play and you're not actually tweezing. That's how much hair I got and then I realized I should have plucked her. So basically, I'm just gonna pet her a little and then stroke down and then basically, as you can see, I'm just kind of not, I'm not actually pulling, I'm just kind of running my fingers through to loosen up any hair that maybe didn't get caught while the brush was going through her fur or maybe even the lint roller didn't catch. I'm just going in and loosening all that up for the lint roller to get. Usually you would do this before lint rolling your bunny. I mean, of course you can do it after like I did. That's fine too. Um, I would just recommend doing it before. As you can see, I'm going over her again with the lint roller. Never forget the head when you're brushing or lint rolling, whatever you're doing on your bunny, don't forget the head. The head sheds too. The head exists. Always get your bunny's head. And now just after you've brushed them and they've been so good, you wanna just pet them and give them a ton of love because honestly, they've done such a good job. Even if they didn't do a good job, you wanna give them love, you wanna pet them, you wanna make them happy because they honestly, just had a hard time and they're still trying to do their best. Yeah.